Hi friends, David here from Above AVL. And today, of course, it's Learn Christmas Lighting. So we're talking about pixels. We always have fun with pixels. And today we're gonna answer the burning question, what type of pixel should I buy? Particularly talking about resistor versus regulator pixels, and then taking it a little further after that. Let's dive in. <laughs> Resistor versus regulated pixels. How do we get here? Why do people talk about this? Why do some vendors have resistor, some have regulated, some have both? Why do we care? Okay, so the way we get here is in a 12 volt pixel or a 24 volt bullet pixel typically, and that's where uh, you see this happen most often, though it's, it's gonna be a thing in other pixel types. The pixel itself doesn't operate at 12 volts, okay? The pixel, the actual components that are running the pixel run at like three or five volts, okay? They run at a much lower voltage. So when we run 12 volt power to them, which of course I am a big fan of 12 volt pixels because you can go further in a line of, of lights. What you will find is that you either have resistors or voltage regulators to step down that voltage from the 12 to the five. You're gonna have to look really closely, but essentially on the pixel itself, there is a little micro, a little one of the little bits of electronics there is going to be the resistor or regulator. Okay, now in functionality, there's gonna be two big differences between resistor-based pixels and regulated. Resistor-based pixels, when you start to run too many on a port or run too far, okay, and you bring them in full white or a really bright pattern, what you're gonna see is you're gonna start to see them turn pinkish toward the end of the line. Regulated pixels are going to go a little bit further before they start failing, but instead of turning pinkish, they're gonna just cut out or start flashing. And so that reason and one other one is the main reason why I generally recommend resistor base because you can kick the, per if you have a line of pixels that's too long in a prop, just kick the brightness down 10 or 20%. Maybe if you go full white, it'll get a little pinkish. Most of the time in most shows, you don't really do that. So you're good to go, okay? The other thing with pixel resistor versus regulated, and I don't wanna scare you, but if you go to pixel.report, which is a website that was made by the community, uh, I think in 2020, 2021, there were issue with pixel fires, okay? Sort by the filter and just go look at the data for pixels that caught on fire. The majority of them were regulated pixels. Yes, they were manufactured poorly, but regardless whether, you know, in that year there were a lot of poorly manufactured pixels, but the resistor ones didn't tend to catch on fire, the regulated ones occasionally did, um, and the resistors didn't. So you've got that going for you too, okay? Now, what's gonna be the best thing? Well, obviously the best thing is to have no compromises, right, in anything in life. And so that's where, you know, we particularly love newer styles of pixels, like our NBGs, other vendors have different types, different names, um, the flat back gumdrop style pixels, because these, at least the ones we have, run natively at 12 volt. So there's no resistor, no regulator. The beauty of this is that one of the failure points of a traditional bullet pixel is that resistor or regulator fry, okay? So one less electrical component in the gun drops or NBGs, one less failure point, right? And so that's gonna be a huge benefit there. Of course, you can't end this video without reaching out to the five volt guys, and it's true. Five volt bullets do not have a resistor or regulator, so therefore tend to be more reliable. But you get some negatives, you can run about half as many, I mean a little bit more, before you have to stop and inject power or something else. Granted, they do also use less power. So like anything, there's not a clear nuanced answer, but when it comes to regulated or resistor, that's why I and us at Above AVL really like resistor-based pixels. But the best thing is of course getting rid of that process entirely. Um, I guess you could say either by going to five volt, though that's not my choice, going to something like the NBG pixels that have neither, because then, you're able to have something natively running at that voltage. You're losing a component, saves on failure points, and that's a big win in my book. 
So if you're new to this hobby and you appreciated this, head over to learnchristmaslighting.com. We've got a free guide we want to get into your hands, the five things we really wish we knew before we started in Christmas lighting. It's going to save you time, going to save you money, and going to save you frustration, and that's the biggest one. Hop over there, grab that, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.